So every spring, the same series of events happen. People go to try and start their push mowers if they sat all winter, and they won't start. The next solution is they get thrown out for garbage, like this one. Now just estimate this thing is about a year or two old. You want to know why your lawnmower doesn't start in the spring? Because you left the gas in it. This is what happens 99.99% of the time when a lawnmower won't start. Push mower, tractor, whatever. Sure enough, upon further inspection, this stuff's disgusting. It's like oil. Smells like varnish. Everything I've ever found out for garbage, any kind of small engine, there was nothing wrong with except the fuel. This goes for chippers, lawnmowers, weed whackers, whatever. People just throw them out. And it takes, you know, half an hour worth of clean the carburetor and the gas tank out, and the things are perfect. So here's how to get either your lawnmower running that you let sit with gas in it over the winter, or how to get one that someone else already gave up, gave up on and threw out for the trash. Okay, there's a couple things you want to start first to make sure it isn't condemned from the start. First of all, is there any holes in the motor? This one, no. Give it a tug to make sure it's not seized. Yep, it turns. And the other thing you're going to want to do too, which is going to be hard to do with this camera in my hand, but you want to check for spark. Basically, you have this cable right next to the spark plug here. Pull on it. If you can't watch it, someone else watch it. Make sure you see a slight spark jump onto the plug. That'll prove it when it does get fuel that the thing will actually start. So I just removed the gas tank and carburetor combination from this mower. This, like a lot of other Briggs and Stratton small engines, the carburetor mounts right on the gas tank. There's no fuel lines or anything. Instead of having a fuel bowl, which is normally there like where the carburetor stores its fuel it's about to use, this thing just uses the gas tank as its bowl. It just draws fuel right up from the tank, right at the bottom of the carburetor, right into the motor. So like I said, the gas in here is plenty scuzzy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the gas out, try and clean out best I can, then I'm going to pull the carburetor off and clean that out. Oh, in case you're wondering, there was only two bolts to remove this. One right here, one right here, and the whole thing came off. All you had to do was remove the throttle rod, and there was a little spring right on here. That's it. Very simple. Oh, here's a spring. I just want to document the fuel that's in this because this is entirely even new to me. Um, looks like it's Bailey's. Basically, check this out. Oh, yeah. It's like someone decided that pina colada mix would be a good uh, fuel for their lawnmower. Oh, and it's completely disgusting inside there, too. It's hard to see on the camera. It's just full of stuff. People wonder why their lawnmowers don't work. I came in fathom what this fuel came out of or why they thought it would be a good uh, source of power for a small engine. I'm going to clean this up here. Okay, I got it back all together here. Air cleaner back on, carburetor back on the gas tank. Uh, I have other videos. You want to see how to clean the carburetors out. All you do is just clean all the gunk out of them. There's no bowl on this one, so there's not a lot to it. These things are kind of strange. They have a diaphragm in them that sucks with the engine vacuum that pumps fuel into the carburetor. It's just a very strange carburetor overall, so there's not really any moving pieces. But just blow everything out with carburetor cleaner and compressed air. Carburetor is actually surprisingly clean. All it had was those two tubes that go down into the gas tank. And I filled it back up with fresh gas. I pulled the original spark plug out. It still says Briggs and Stratton right on it. And I cleaned it up. And that's good. So now let's see what happens here.
there we go. All that took was about 20 minutes worth of work. And I was even letting the gas tank sink or uh, sit in some carb cleaner. Let it soak in. Still some goo in the bottom that will probably cause problems later, but it runs. And uh, got myself a free lawnmower. Didn't even take a single part to fix other than a quart of fresh gas and you know a little bit of cleaning. So there you go. Hopefully it'll save you from throwing out your push mower every year or two and buying a new one. Because this thing, I think, is only a year, maybe two years old. It's like a Home Depot special. So it wasn't a real expensive one anyway. I think these things are only like 100 bucks brand new. But hey, better than buying a new one every few years. And if you see someone else that uh, doesn't know any better, you'll find them alongside the road and be able to fix them for free.